Hello, Susan Detroit here, sharing with you a way to create images using apps. I'm going to walk through choosing an image and doing some adjustments. I put my images into albums on photo on my iPad and I make categories. One of the categories I make is landscapes in process. I have landscapes in process and completed. And I go through the landscapes in process reviewing images that I have not yet used in a final creation. Looking for something that piques my interest. So you can see I've in process and completed images, I'm now in a cat in a album with processed images, and I'm looking. Maybe I'm going to use this tree. One of the images of the tree taken with Instagram. I'm looking for an image that has room to create within it. I don't think that tree so I look at a couple more and I am now going to open an app which I keep in a folder on my home page and that app that I'm opening is Painteresque which is one of my favorites it has a great choices so now I'm looking through to my album landscapes in process and I'm going to choose an image that I think might work well and then I upload it in one of the possibilities there's about eight there and I go through them considering thinking do I like this what appeals to me about that particular style in Painteresque I usually try to look at it even though I think mm, probably won't be using it and go back and forth a few times taking my time so I suggest really taking your time to look through make a decision see how it feels and I ultimately decided that my feeling is that I like the lithograph look on this hipstomatic and I save it and then I go back to my home and I look a little glitch there I go up and open it up again that image that I picked and uh, created in Pinterest and now I'm going to open another app and that app is formula so you see I'm opening it and I start going through the possibilities in formulas I have a few you see that I've starred that I like particularly this app has quite a few options and I've used it a fair number of times so I'm a bit familiar with the options, although I'm often surprised. So you can see I've starred, again, one of the filters that I really like. That's a nice one. So I suggest take your time and notice what do you like and why do you like it? What's appealing about it to you? This that one that has reddish I did not like with the image. So I'm continuing to move through the filters, going back and forth, some that I know I don't want and some I'm curious how it's going to look. Always take your time. I'm thinking that I may have found something that I 
particularly enjoy. And this will not be the end. And remember, save as you go along. Sometimes if I'm not sure I like it, I save the image and I go back and make another one. So, and then I've got it in my All Photos album. There, and I've got it open again. And that'll be the image that I will pick up at this point in the next video so that you can see what steps I take next. Hope you enjoyed this. It's the beginning of my process of sharing and creating iPhone art. Thank you and until the next one. Bye-bye.